my freshman year, Coach Bryant walks in the room. He's got his five national championship rings in a case. He says, men, all we're going to do is be champions. Radar Holt in motion across. There's that penetration again, Lindsay. This is going to cost him. Intercepted at the 18 yard line by Castillo. Entry on the right side, Abercrombie in the left. Castillo was there for Alabama. Handoff, Castillo walks him on in. and us have been talking about having our own place to train athletes for years. We want this place to, to really just make a difference in people's lives, not just physically, but spiritually and mentally as well. And I feel like this is one way, um, a huge way that we can carry on, I feel like what the Lord started with my dad, bringing him up out of poverty, up out of his situation in Phoenix City, I mean, it's nothing short of a miracle that we're in the situation that we are today. To be able to have an academy where, you know, we're able to just pour into people's lives and work together as a family. We want to invest, influence, impact, and inspire the next generation. That's what Coach Bryant did for me. I grew up in a dysfunctional home. It was alcoholism and drugs and domestic violence at a very high level. So that's what I saw. There was a lot of rejection I received within my home from my parents. I have a two inch scar on my right arm right here where one day my mother cut me when she was intoxicated. So when you got that type of rejection within your home, that's where my strength came from. And so when I had to deal with uh, things outside of my house, I had the strength. So what led you ultimately to play for Coach Bryant at the University of Alabama? Growing up, watching the Coach Bryant show on Sundays, and uh, there was a guy from where I grew up named Woodrow Lowe that was a three-time All-American. I'm sitting there, in the Lord, and the Lord just helped build a vision that you could do what he's doing right now. Woodrow Lowe helped build that dream. I'm a freshman. I've been there two weeks at the University of Alabama in 1979. I walk in during two-day practice. I've got this pink slip on my locker that says, Coach Bryant want to see you. I'm like, well, I don't want to see him. <laughs> That's the last place, you know, I want to go as a true freshman. Coach Bryant's in his office. I walk in, he's smoking a cigarette, and he puts it out. And, and that old Southern draws you. Jeremiah, I believe you can play here at the University of Alabama. So I'm thinking, yeah, well, my turn come. He says, you can play this year. So my confidence goes from here to boom. Just, oh my, coach believes I could play. He took, I say, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to invest, to let me know. As I was walking out of his door, he says, he said, Jeremiah, you see that door? He said, that door is always open. If you ever have a problem, don't hesitate to come knock on that door. It's like yesterday that I still hear those words. So he was willing to invest 15 minutes into Jeremiah Castile, and naturally, when he said jump, is how high coach. I knew he cared about me as a person, not just a player, but as a person. I was talking to Woodrow Lowe, who was two years in the integration when he got there. We were sitting and talking, and he said, Jeremiah, I truly know Coach Bryant loved me. And I believe every black player that came through there that he coached, that would be their, their testimony. Coach Bryant loved everybody. You know, right now our country is faced with a lot of challenges. We're in the midst of a, a pandemic that nobody saw coming. 
and we're also as a as a country trying to shine light on the social injustice and and myself as, as a white american female want to join the conversation we at ale.com want to join that same conversation what is the best way that we can be part of that conversation and part of the solution i believe the best way to be a part of the conversation is take it further than a conversation take it to relationships i have friends with different we have different ethnic backgrounds and i believe god has blessed all of the different ethnic groups we all have gifts abilities and talent when we learn from one another then we can truly build a beautiful life and that's what to me god is it's all about I, he wants us to build a beautiful life so that the world can look and see you know um, that man or woman doesn't see color they see need as a result of that i feel like it's made me a richer person a better person a more well-rounded person a lot of times if something doesn't affect you you i mean you it's hard for you to care my wife for instance she's not going to experience the things that i have experienced or will experience i feel like for us to take more steps in the right direction it's going to be the people who racism necessarily isn't going to affect directly to actually care and that's i feel like one of the hardest things to communicate with people. How do you feel that sports uh, and football even more specifically unites us and helps to blend different backgrounds? I play a corner, right? I'm not thinking about where, what color is my safety or, you know, <laughs> where did he come from? All of, all of these different things that we can get caught up in in society, I feel like it sh sports helps break all of that down. But the bottom line is are you gonna be where you're supposed to be? You know, can I count on you? Can you count on me? I mean, football, really sports in general, it, it really breaks down all of those barriers. I mean, when you going through your off season workouts Good, and Good. You, know, boy. you feel like you about to die on numerous occasions, probably, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you, you bleed, you sweat, you, I mean, literally take your body to places that you never thought that it could reach with your teammates and that just creates a bond that it, it shatters all of those all of those different uh, barriers that we can put um, between us and other people that board is the same for everybody it don't matter where you from what you look like brown brown white black it don't matter we do not discriminate <laughs> around here so i love people just in general so I want this to be a place where everyone feels welcome. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter where you come from. We're all children of God. We're all made in his image. I want people to understand that when you come in here, we care about you as a person first and foremost, and that we're going to love on you. Yes, the workouts are hard. We're going to push you. But that's just because we love you. We want you to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Trustmark. People you trust. Advice that works.